Pair of bright fairy voice Let's get the L This. You can do it, babes. It's like Come on, baby. possible. I need scissors. I'm ripping it. There you go. <coughs> Dream Big Apparel. I'm a junior in high school and the owner and founder of the independent clothing company called Dream Big Apparel. I recently created this company because late this year, 2009, I realized that my dreams were in life. My dreams were to start this company and be a full time musician in a band or solo. I plan to. Wait, I plan on attending some kind of music college such as Berkeley to fulfill my dreams and learn more about what I love most. I've been working hard to start this company. It's finally come through in, my, in a positive way. I've been following Terra Bright since last year and watched every single Blair Bright vlog from the beginning to, till present day. Aww. Woo. <laughs> I actually started watching your vlogs when you guys when you guys were on day 50 because I had no idea you guys were doing them. So on winter break early this year, I spent a whole weekend watching 50 of your vlogs. <laughs> That's how entertained and dedicated I was to stay a true Terry Bright fan. You guys have inspired me to stay strong with what I love to do. It, it, it's what I love to do, which is music. I hope to follow my dreams like you guys did with yours. Hey, we're still following our dreams. <laughs> This is my thanks to you guys. This is one of my favorite shirts from my company, and I hope Sabrina will love it. I'm not asking or being pushy, but it would be awesome for Sabrina to wear this in, in, in vlogs. Maybe a picture of her wearing so I could put it on my Facebook page. <laughs> Aww. Whatever you do it besides throw it away would be fantastic. Also, once I get V-necks, I will definitely send them over for DJ. If you guys like, I could officially endorse you guys. Thanks for thanks again for giving me the opportunity to do this and looking forward to you guys you guys' this album. Dream big. What you got here? I live my own dream. It's a cool shirt. I feel like Mitchell Davis would like this because of the triangle. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody go check that out. Tell him how awesome his stuff is. Check out his dream big face Facebook page because he's got like a bunch of these on there a lot of them. Like this isn't the only kind of shirt. So, thank you for the shirt. I love it. <laughs> okay, so right now terabyte.tv is ranking on the second page when you search terabyte, which isn't bad, but it is bad. It's bad because I've essentially want to get rid of terabytemusic.com and just point this to terabyte.tv because I don't want this to be our website anymore. Well, I mean, I it could still be it, but I just don't want this to be my website anymore. And this is number two. I want this to be gone in terabyte.tv to be number two. I have a question for you guys out there. If anyone knows what the answer is, that'd be awesome. Why why do we have this under here? Like, this is cool, but we don't have this for terabyte.tv. It's just like, see, terabyte.tv doesn't have that. And it, it it looks empty without it, I feel like. So, I mean, I, I submitted a sitemap to Google. I have a plugin running this sitemap to Google and Bing and all that stuff. So, I mean, unless it just takes a while for it to process and like has to be here for a while for it to show stuff like that. I don't know. Like, do you, does anyone know why it's there? And does anyone have any other suggestions on how to get this to the front? Because it's not. I've, I've done a lot of things, a lot of suggestions, but it's just not going to the front. So now that the song is done, we are going to shoot the music video for it. It's probably just going to be... I think it's going to be the same thing as all our other color covers, but we agreed to do that since we're, they're just covers, we're not going to spend a lot of time. What? <laughs> Are you okay, Lexi? Are you okay? Did you get scared? I did my makeup. Now you guys are going to set up with me. We brought the tripod, the tripod out here, put the stool there because that's what we usually stand on, and now we gotta move all this stuff out of the way because sometimes it shows up in the camera and it makes it less apparent that we're in the kitchen whenever we move it. So, I'm gonna move all of it. Can you? I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> EJ's nasty retainer. <laughs> you 
could do it in the air though, you use to shoot steroids. <laughs> what? I don't know. No, I don't know. This, I think this leave is right, the cat. Leave, leave it there. It probably won't show up. So we're gonna put a mustache on you and you're gonna be me. Why? Because <clears throat> you're a guy. <clears throat> what? So before we were gonna do this, we were thinking about um because I am pretty low on space on my C drive, which I don't actually it's I actually have my desktop on my D drive, which is kinda weird. So really my C drive is only just applications and there's some like save stuff like when it saves like to the application folders and the operating system. If none of this means anything to you, you can just skip past this. But like I'm I tweeted about it saying that we need to because I got that solid state drive and I was thinking why don't I just move everything over since my hard drive is pretty much running out of space. I could just move it over to the solid state drive which is actually bigger and faster so that way I have a faster boot up since it's a solid state. Because when you get solid state, usually you want your OS to be on it, your operating system, and your applications, because then they boot faster. I want to figure out a way to get it from the smaller hard drive over to the bigger solid state drive disk without um, losing everything and without having to reinstall or format or any of that fun stuff. Because, I mean, I know that that'd be the best idea to just format and reinstall everything, but we have like Cubase, Vegas, um, for all the, the entire Adobe suite. I have like HDR programs in there. I have all kinds of crap in there. And all of that has plugins on top of plugins on top of plugins to do other things. And like the licenses for all that stuff is just like hidden in my email. And it's just like, <clears throat> it'd be a big pain in the butt to do that. So it'd be easier if we just like took like a image of it, like a backup image full of the hard drive and just move that over to this, the solid state di disk. And that'd be awesome. I'm, I'm thinking about using a Cronus True image, but I'm not sure. If you have any suggestions on the best possible way for me to do that without losing anything, the safest way and the quickest way, feel free to leave them below because we didn't do that yet because I, we don't have time. We gotta shoot this. Sabrina's gonna support her necklace. You earned the diamond. What? Diamond. You. Alright. Achievement unlocked. Alright, blur my tears. Give me the battery for this camera, the charged one. And let's switch it out with this one. This one's the non-charged one. Here you go, take it. Take it! DJ, can you help them out? They can't really stick their hands to the screen. Okay. Wait, now, now, now you have to... Take the battery out. Nice battery. Thank you. Sabrina's writing on the whiteboard what she needs to say for the talking part, because that's the most important part of the videos. Yep. But we're not going to title this video why whiteboards are important. <laughs> <clears throat> um, if you notice, we shot this video in the same spot that we always shoot our cover songs. Um, we're getting a thing going. Yeah, it's kind of our thing now. Partly because it's a thing, and partly because it's easy, and partly because it's impressive. And it's something that we can go to to be impressive. Like, these covers are going to be seen by people that aren't you guys that have never seen us before and when they see a video like if they see a video that's impressive it makes it more appealing to them either way and we know that this is this particular shot the lighting and everything like with the lights behind us shining in our hair, hair and stuff we know that's an impressive shot and since it's easy to do it's really easy for us to just like shoot it plus it gives us like doing these covers and shooting them like this it gives us a way to make songs quicker for you, you know, because we just get the song done, we come in here and shoot it for like a couple of hours and it's done. Not even, you know? no, we, we just spent like 30 to 45 minutes because we, cause we kept taking breaks, but I mean yeah. the actual shooting was the duration of the song, like five, five different shots. Yeah, so it makes it simple for us to get more music out for you guys. There's a couple people commenting saying, oh, this looks just like the last cover you did. Well, I mean, it was on per like we didn't say, oh, let's make this better, let's make this different. We're just like, okay, let's get the video done so we can show this song to you guys without spending too much time on it, you know? I mean, it's not our song, so we don't want to like... We, we talked about this already, but I feel like I want to elaborate more on it. We don't want to really make a music video out of it and spend that much time, but we do want it to look professional. And this is the most professional looking place we have. And it's kind of funny because it's my freaking kitchen. <laughs> and it's really like... It's just like... These are literally just like lamps that are just built in. And we just turn them on right there and they just... We turn them on right there. And then they just like light. They're really bright. This could, this could pass as freaking professional lights. I mean, they're freaking... Look how bright they are. 
and then we just bring in a lamp. We have professional lights, but for whatever reason, if we mix this like tungsten light, I guess is what it's going to be called, with like the daylight type light, I don't really know what the professional word is for it, but it's like, this is like yellow light, and then our light is like kind of white. So if we mix that, it gets kind of weird effects and doesn't really look that good. Although we have been using this for the past couple of videos. But no, we didn't know. use it today. We didn't use it for today though. And it looks pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it kind of looks the same though. It's not that much. But yeah, I don't think it's good to mix like different temperatures of lights. So since we have these and these look really nice, like because they're circular and they're all in a line like that and they're there all the time, it makes it really easy for us just to turn it on and just record. And we don't want to get out our big expensive lights, so we just pulled this out of my room and we're good, you know? It's also, it looks good behind our, behind our hair. Yeah, it makes I mean, it if we put our big lights, big square lights behind our hair, that doesn't really look good. Gives you a little silhouette. <laughs> Alright, so what else? I, I pointed out, if they enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe. There's a click to tweet, there's a reblog, what else? Uh -oh. Is that it? Alright, so I thought I would show you guys how I go about editing videos. We both do this, but I prefer doing it because I like to, and I'm quicker than DJ. So, this is what I do. Um, I've already put all the clips from the camera onto the computer, and dragged them all into Vegas, my editing software. And I put them all on separate tracks, all the video clips. And this is a song up here, the actual song. And now I'm just going to have to line up all the audio for each clip with the song so that our lips are on sync when we sing with it. And how I do that is I take, right now I've started already doing the first one, but I take, I look at the audio from the clip and this was probably like, I think it was like over here, but I, I see like significant changes in the waves and I try to match them up and, I, and I, it looks like this matches up with this. So I, I go like, I put it right here and I, I see if it's close. Yeah, I'm pretty close. So then I zoom way far in and I try to line up the waves. And this is a reason why I really like Vegas is because you can see the waves. I don't know if you can anymore on, or if you can on Premiere or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that that is in sync now. In sync. <laughs> I better go to a better part. The beginning is kind of weird. Alright, so when I come up to like, when I do guitar and stuff, when I try to line up the guitar, I have to go get DJ and be like, is this in sync? Because I can't really tell. <laughs> like, I, I can, but he can like tell dead on because he plays guitar and it just like it looks right to me but he notices all the screw screw ups so i i'm gonna go ask him now so i i synced all the clips to the music and deleted all the audio that went with them so i didn't have a bunch of tracks and these are all the clips lined up with the music and what i just do is i go i watch i just go through slowly and watch each thing and use the best one for that particular moment in the song, you know? I just kind of just cut things and I just keep cutting until I got something going and then I, I go back and I move the cuts according to like drums, like drum hits. Like I, I like when the cut, the clips cut right on like a drum hit of some sort, like usually the snare because I just feel like it flows better. I learned that from DJ but that's just what I do. We're done with the video and we're gonna upload it now at like s almost seven in the morning. Um, we're getting used to being up this late again. Like I don't even feel tired right now, I feel normal. But, um, so it's probably gonna be up by the time you're watching this. So go check out our cover. DJ is the lead vocal for this one of Nelly. It's called The Champ. I said that, I just phrased that really weird. But you got it, right? So go tell DJ he did a great job because it's his first time really doing main vocals on a Terabyte song. No, I've done on he, 11, he did 11. Well, 11, 11. It was kind of a short song, though. It was a Conan though. song. But I mean, you're not really, people aren't used to you. Yeah, we uploaded the Kia Soul one. All those, like, didn't get many views, except for the Conan. That's what I'm saying. Nobody really knows. So no knows check it out. Risen. 
Yeah, no one knows why your fears are virgin. <laughs> this is really weird right now. As you can see, it's processing and uploading at the same time. And the processing is going to be done before it's done uploading. <laughs> so this video is going to be processed and on, on YouTube before we even finish uploading it. YouTube is like a magician. <laughs> they, they read our minds of what our video is going to be like.